and welcome back to another video from To The Power Of 3. Today it's me, Luca again, and I'm going to do something rather new to our channel. Um, I'm just going to show you how to make an awesome, not very compact to be honest, um, door, which is pretty secret and hidden. So I, I made some examples here. The first time, uh, the first one is how it would be in real life. So lever. And that's what it would look like. So all you can see are these four pistons. You go around the corner here, and then it's exit. You can have like a room here. Um, as I said, it's not critically very compact. And I will show you the dimensions in a second. So this is what it will look like from the top. And if you've done it once or twice, it's actually really easy to do. So this is my, I don't really know why I did two of these, it's practically the same thing, but, okay, <clears throat> sorry, my voice, um, the, the, not the coordinates, did I say coordinates before, I'm stupid, um, the, whatever it's called, the size of what you will need to make this is about 16 by 11, 16 by 11 is the inside, which would make it 18 by 13, obviously, so, here, if I press, the lever will open like that. Um, this build is actually very um, customizable. So you can make it underground, you can put two levers so you can open it and close it from both sides. So you can play around with it a lot. You can make it more compact. It's, it's very variable. So um, basically what you will start with, so um, if you have problems with this explanation, I will build it again. Just saying. Okay. Um, so these pistons, and then with like an. I don't know what it's called, but like. I don't know. I think these are the two middle blocks. Is that true? Yes, it is very true. So, um, four apart of each other, you want to place. Four sticky pistons on both sides. Just imagine, I'll put a glass wall right here. Just imagine this being the wall where you're playing, right? So just place that there. This is your wall. I want to make it symmetrical. Okay, this is your wall. Next thing you want to do is place like in the different in the same um in a different direction two sticky pistons on both sides like that okay next thing you want to do is it doesn't really matter what material you use I'll just do wool for now place four blocks one block away from your four pistons same thing here just imagine if these pistons extend these four will be together and be one block away from that. Same thing here. Oops. There you go. Next what you want to do is get your redstone torches, place them there. And right here. So now this would be the closed position. Next thing you want to do is add another four blocks on each of the things. Like that, and the last one, sorry guys, I'll just times zero. And then we have some lovely light. Um, I forgot what it's called, but there's this thing with redstone. If you're new to redstone, I'll just show you right here, that it will kind of reverse the signal. Let's put that there. So if I put a porch there, it will be on, obviously, right? And then, I don't know if you need that, but I'll just put it there. And then, it's going to be off. And if you put this on, that's going to turn off, which will put that off. So it's kind of a neat thing, right? Let's just destroy that. Um, yeah. So next thing you want to do is place two uh, redstone repeaters 
on like right here where I am right here do that everywhere and it's important that the four on the sides it doesn't really matter how much more but they have to be set to more ticks than the middle one I don't know why it just doesn't work otherwise okay next thing is kind of connecting it all together I like just bringing it bringing it bleh, bringing it up in a nice and orderly fashion so just do that and I just failed that okay now um, again that thing what I just showed you there comes in handy we have to reverse the signal so place a block somewhere it has to connect like it has to be connected to these three parts place a redstone there so now it will be open and now just uh, don't forget to put a redstone repeater there now just wire this to wherever uh, you will need repeater somewhere. I like making a delay. It looks dramatic, more dramatic. So just bring this to the front to wherever your lever is supposed to be. Okay, let's say I can't place a lever on glass block, let's say. Eh, there. So that's the way it was. Put a lever right here. And this should actually work. As you can see, I, I actually don't need all this space in here. And yeah. Next I'll explain how this actually works. I'm gonna turn it on. Oh wow. Sorry guys, I, I just completely failed. Be sure to place your repeaters in the right direction. So it was like that, right? And now if I as you can see this part all the way to over there is off. If I turn it on, it turns on, and this part turns off, which was on before. And it kind of all reverses. And if it's off, those redstone um torches are off, which makes the pistons off. And this makes it on, which makes that off, which makes that on, which makes this on, which makes the pistons extend. Um, sounds complicated, isn't actually that complicated. So, I'll just stand up here. If you want to take a screenshot or just pause the video, you can whatever, look at it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped you a lot. Um, leave a like, subscribe for some more redstone. I'm not the biggest redstone pro, but I still know some quite some stuff, so, yeah. Thank you to the power of three here, and see you the next time.